All right, so what is going on today, YouTube? The initial uh, uh, series starter that I want to start doing. Uh, somebody already said, hey, man, start doing discussions and combos videos. And I've always been wanting to do it, but I just never did it. So we're going to try to start off right here with the busted play of the day. All right, now, the, these plays are not just, they're, they're not good plays. I'm just going to tell you that. They're not good plays. They're convoluted, crazy stupid plays that end with stupid shit that does completely dumb shit now these are not something you should take to a tournament this is something just to show uh pretty much just the the most convoluted shit you can come up with like something i was thinking about was like uh like you go into bahamut shark but you know how bahamut shark will go right here <laughs> so like a busted play of the day would be you go to bahamut shark dark hole set xyz we born <laughs> tell your opponent to go and then bring it back to go to a toad which is a busted play because it's garbage and you can never really use it but it's just funny so uh, without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started so as you guys already know rescue ferret allows for me to come up with some of the stupidest plays that uh you just you would never see because it's just so stupid uh so that's what ferret allows me to do so i'm just going to take full advantage of it but this card is a two card combo you guys already know ferret and uh, uh, the Scorpio and then that's pretty much all you need so here we go and um, a cute thing that we can do is like I told you guys in yesterday's video is that we can go into Trigate Wizard and it's pretty much the same thing as Proxy Dragon you don't have to if you want to you can it just makes everything a little easier because it's a link 3 and then you can just go from there so uh, we got three link zones open so we're going to get some uh, some good cards now Beast of the Pharaohs is very good um, and there, there's there's busted applications with this card that you can do but this is the two star if you guys go back to the original link plant video uh, that I did this was the card I was talking about because if it's sent to the graveyard you can special summon uh, a, a, a three star token so you know how links can abuse tokens you can go into a link spider you can use it to go into a fire I mean you can use the load you can use the token like if you get a free token you just use it forever you want and plus it's also three stars so you can use it as a synchro and stuff like that this card is just very good and it's literally whenever it's sent to the graveyard not just on the field so you can discard it it'll get you a token you can foolish it you can get a good token you know you can do all those sorts of things so you guys can see where we're going so we're going to first start off with the Liberian and then Beast of the Pharaoh comes right on back as you guys already know. And then here is where the bustedness comes in. We're going to use Glow Bulb and Beast of the Pharaoh to go into an arc light. <laughs> so we're going to get a draw from that. Then we're going to bring back Beast of the Pharaoh. Then we're going to go into a Firewall Dragon because like I said, Trigate to level uh, Link 3 and you got one so let's go into 4. So Herald of Art like, is going to search, <laughs> what's his name? A morph factor pain, the imagination Draco, D Drake overload. And you guys can see where this is playing. Let's go. We're going to use Glow Bulb to mill to go into another arc light. So now Beast of the Pharaoh comes back. You're going to get another draw. We're doing a soul charge, which is just, we're not going to use it in this combo. So <laughs> just, just hold on to your socks. So now, since we don't need Liberian no more, we can use Liberian Beast of the Pharaoh, Mrs. Radiant to go into a firewall. Then we can trigger firewall to special add back the garnet because we're going to special summon the garnet then we're going to use the last token on the side to go into a link spider and then we're going to go into an outer it outer entity nyarla <laughs> so we're going to detach both to add the arc light so now we're free to get us an advanced ritual art so now we can drop a morphage pain uh we can a morph factor pain we can drop him if you guys don't know what this card does is that your opponent skips their next main phase if they main phase one when this is summoned all right and then also it negates fusion synchros in the xyz monsters while they're on the field so they, this doesn't target links because links weren't made i mean at the point so bam you can bring this out your opponent skips their main phase one and it negates literally everything fusion synchros and xyz's what what can your opponent do so but we're not done yet folks we're going to uh, go ahead and drop this by dumping a Quill Force Scout and a, uh, what's the name? And a Hollow Hollow, because it's a three-star normal. And then we're going to use Firewall to add back the Scout and a Lone Fire to our hand. Then we're going to go on a Proxy Dragon, triggering Firewall. And then also, we did get rid of our, uh, what's the name, our Exceed. So we're going to search 
this card, which is, it's, I, I don't know how to pronounce the name. I, I just don't. The Ancient and the Ascendant. Uh, and what you guys don't know, if this, you don't know what this card does, is that uh, during either player's turn, when your opponent activated a card or effect that targets a monster you control, you can discard this card to negate it. And then if it's on the field, you can return it and uh, I believe banish special summon monsters that were special summoned. So now we get protected from targeting effects, but we're not done. We're going to use Lone Fire to go into a spore. We're going to go into a deco talker and then we're going to activate Cleave Fort Scout and we're going to search us a Recreate. Why? Because this is pretty much a skill trait that you can use. <laughs> because if the monster is normal or flip summon, uh, what is it, level 4 or lower, you can negate the effects until the end of the end of this turn. And then if a monster is special summon level 5 or higher, it negates the effects. So it pretty much negates pretty much everything because you have to at least normal summon at least once. And then if you special summon level five or higher, there's negated. So we have double firewall, a deco talker, and you can't go into fusion synchro. I mean, you can go into them, but you can't really use them. And then Requiem will already negate their effects to begin with. So yeah, man, this is just one of them busted plays that you can do with rescue ferrets. And yeah, he has to skip his main phase one. He goes in main phase two, but your opponent can't really do anything. So he's playing Dragoonities. And uh, yeah, I don't know why this didn't work. I have no clue why this didn't work. This should have worked, but um, I just don't know. Wakelet, for some reason, didn't work. Uh, it didn't really make a lot of sense because it was normal summon and his effect should have been negated. But I, I, I guess, but it does not matter because uh, Wakelet would trigger to negate it. And even if Wakelet couldn't negate it, this is already negating it. So we have a pretty much busted combo. So yeah, that is it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, if you guys like busted combo, busted play of the day, go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know that you guys do want to see more creative combos like this. I can definitely do some more stupid shit and get it even worse. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you like, what's, if you, oh wow, wow, my tongue got tired. If you would like to support the channel, all I ask is you guys click a ad. That'll be enough for me. Thank you and I will see you guys tomorrow.